Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 7th of February 2019 and the time has just gone 11.20 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is the S&P 500. Um, and start off, what we'll do is we'll take a look at the wider view. And if we draw a trend line between the lows of February 2016 with the lows of November 2016, we get this trend line along here. And as we can see when we zoom in, this trend line was well respected uh, in both October and November uh, at the back end of last year. We did see some consolidation in around the trend line in mid-December and then followed by a sharp sell-off. Uh, but since, that, since then, we've seen a fairly decent bounce back in the S&P 500. And we can see that when the market was bouncing back in late, mid to late January, it ran into resistance. Uh, at, the, at the trend line, the previous trend line support briefly began to act as trend line resistance, and now the market has moved back above the trend line again. So we can see that this particular line is significant. It acted on support on occasions, it briefly acted as resistance, and now it could be acting as support yet again. So this, this, this price, this trend line here, which comes into play in around 2680.85 in that region. That's likely to be uh, an important metric uh, going forward. If the S&P 500 can hold above that, that, uh, that particular price, the next area to keep an eye for to the upside uh, will be this red line here, which is the 200-day moving average, which comes to play at 2,744. And if you go beyond that, uh, the next area to keep an eye for will be the psychologically important 2,800. And should we go beyond that, Keep an eye for this area here. It's in around 2,815, 820, 2,817, this region here. We can see uh, on at least three occasions uh, this, this area acts as resistance uh, once in, in October, uh, in November, and also December. So this area is going to be potentially a big stumbling block. Will this be the area whereby the S&P potentially rises up to and then retreats from? Or will it break above it and actually then look to shake off the recent uh, downward trend of the last few months and actually look to retest uh, the recent the uh, all-time highs that were achieved back in October? So I think 2,817, let's call it, uh, is going to be a big area for the S&P 500. If the market does manage to actually run out of steam and drop back below this trend line, and show that trend line active resistance once again, we could see the market drift lower. And we could see the market head back down towards this blue line here, the 50 day moving average, which comes into play at 2,614. And if you drop below that, we could see the support come into play in around the 2,600 area. It's been an area of both kind of resistance and support recently. It's also a big number. Uh, and if we have a sizable break south, of 2,600, uh, that could pave the way for further losses and it could bring us back down towards 2,500 or 2,438. If you are going to be trading the S&P 500, it's a good idea to keep an eye out for what's going on on the Dow Jones. Uh, Dow theory tells us that the stock market averages must confirm each other. And if you take a look at the Dow Jones and if you draw a trend line between the lows of February 2018 with the lows of uh, April and May 2018, we get this trend line along here. And you can see that the price action was fairly similar to the S&P 500, whereby there was consolidation in, it was, support, it was supported reasonably well uh, in October and November last year. There was consolidation in mid-December, then there was a sharp break below it and a subsequent bounce back. And that notice how the Dow Jones is also above uh, its respective trend line. So Dow theory tells us that the averages must confirm each other and while both stock market indices are above their respective trend lines, we can become more confident that the, mar that the markets are going, to remain, are going to remain above those trend lines and push higher. Should we see one above and one below, that's a bit of a mixed signal and, and, and we'd be less confident. And on top of that, should we see both stock market indices fall below uh, their respective trend line, uh, their respective trend lines, I would suggest or you, or I would suggest that we're more likely to see uh, further downside moves uh, in both in both markets. Um, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.